All right, here we go. I am exactly one mile away from the location of the radio node. We're using sound modem for TCP IP over AX25. Sound modem over here, stuff over here to a 5 watt HT that you can't see. That apparently the new iPhone features say no more flash. That's retarded, so I can't actually show you the HT right now. Let's go ahead and do a ping. One mile away. And actually, you can see the light on the radio. Red is transmit, green's receive. There you go. Zero packet loss. And I just used this radio down here so you could listen to it. So let's try something a little more interesting, shall we? Let's try to Telnet in. And we're using Telnet instead of SSH for legal reasons. Because Telnet is unencrypted. And remember, this is TCP IP over AX25, then we're running Telnet on top of that. It's only running 1200 baud. This is not fast. It's layered and it's slow, but it works. So this IP address, 192.168.1.1, is a computer at my house. And uh, that interface is locked to this radio. So now it wants me to log in. Now at this point, since I don't have echo enabled, you can't see what I typed. I press enter, it'll start sending. It actually begins sending the second I start typing. Which is just annoying, really, but... I wish I could get echo to work. So you can see it slowly begin to type. Hey, look at that, now it wants a password. As I begin to type, you'll hear data. Because it actually begins sending the second I start typing once I begin um, shells. Oh, wonderful. Sure did work a long time to get that, huh? I'm going to pause it and get a connection. Okay, I got my shell here. And now I'm going to start IRC to connect to IRC. And I'm going to connect to an IRC channel and see how well this works. And this is a very busy IRC channel I'm going to go into, so it should be interesting to see how long it actually takes for me to get a message out. 
And I better make sure I change that call sign. Because the guys on this IRC channel don't know me by my call sign, and I don't want them to, for the most part. So, my Nick, C O R A X 2 5 shall be my new Nick. So let's make sure it actually does that. And now let's connect to, let's connect to CQ. Not as many people on that channel. There it is. And now, I'm there. I'd like to do 9600 baud, but I don't think I can on this cheap ass radio. And I probably mistyped, but again, no echo. There you go. Alright, we need someone to reply. Who will reply? Oh, in three. Please reply soon so I can get out of here. Before the cops show up and I have to explain what this is. And here comes some data. Good chance it's him, but not a guarantee. Come on. Somebody, somebody say something. Because I really don't know how long this will go. Um, timing out's probably very easy to do, since there's no physical connection unless I'm transmitting. All right, I'm gonna type something to someone else. There we go. Alright, I'm going to end this and have a little conversation over my radios. Ha! <laughs> Wonderful. Let's reply.
Hopefully he doesn't get kicked off the server for spamming. Ah. I don't know if the bots still do that. So yeah, practicality, talking to two or three people. I mean, if you're on IRC with other hams, probably not that bad. But IRC where my ping time is three seconds and their ping time is like 20 milliseconds, yeah. I'm not going to get a word in edgewise. I mean, I typed a bunch of stuff. But i got to wait for his 30 lines, which looks like it's more like 70, 80 lines. He needs to shut up. There we go. Ha! Yep, I do have to wait. Alright, I'm gonna end it here.